This is my friend Charles. He's a member of our other channel, The Blind Guys, and he's one of the editors there. And thanks to Intel who's sponsoring this video, today we're gonna be upgrading his PC and we're gonna be putting inside of it an Intel 13th Gen i5 13600K. Because not only is Charles a video editor, but he's also an avid Overwatch 2 player. Let's go bronze! K kind of. The Intel Core i5 13600K is the best bang for buck processor out there. So thank you Intel, it's great for gaming, content creation, all the bronze level Overwatch playing that I'll be doing. So thank you again. We already recorded that video and throughout the build to keep it entertaining, I asked Charles a bunch of questions about Intel and about PC building in general. And I may or may not have lied to him that night that we were gonna grab dinner. So <laughs> a lot of the punishments had to do with withholding or giving him food. Enjoy. Do you want an easy question first or a hard question first? Let's go with the easy one. Intel's 13th gen processors is compatible with these kinds of memory depending on your motherboard. DDR4 or DDR5? Oh, yeah. okay. You get one fry. This one's too long. I eat all day. I hey, 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 easy I question. <laughs> Small I can't even, reward. I can't even reject it. My pride says no, but my stomach says yes. Let's go hard. Hard? Yeah. His brother told me that this is his favorite instant noodle. Your reward for getting this question right is that you can eat this. If you get it wrong, I'm gonna eat in front of you. A lot of RAM out there lists really high frequencies. To get your RAM to hit the frequency stated on the box, what must you do? You have to set the XMP profile. To oh! The Thank you, uh, Linus Tech Tips. Thank you, uh, Optimum, op Optimum Tech. I think I did it in a video too. Just, uh... Thank you for those uh, legitimate YouTube videos. I don't want you to get too full so that you have no motivation. Half a bowl? I eat like two of these <laughs> at a time. Thank you. Stockholm Syndrome has set in. Mm. He said thank you. Let's go easy. I want to fry. In Intel's 13th gen processors, there are two different kinds of cores. Oh shoot. One, one of these start with a P. What is it and what does it do? No! <laughs> There's no descriptions on this box. Power cores. P is for performance cores. Oh my God. And it's responsible for taking care of the resource intensive stuff. Azure punishment for the remainder of the build. You're gonna take this away? Yeah. Bro, no, you're responsible. Men don't even fit. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Let's go easy. In Intel's 13th gen processors, there are two different kinds of cores. One of these cores starts with an E. e yes. What is it and what does it help with? Efficiency. That is correct. The yes. E core is called the efficiency yes. core. It's responsible for handling multitasking and background activities. Let me find a really small fry. Man, the fries are cold, man. <laughs> Hard. Overclocking your CPU can be a headache. However, with this piece of software, you can overclock Intel CPUs with just a couple clicks. Intel overclocking pro. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Intel tuning center trademark. Final answer? Final answer. It's called Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Oh! So Intel XTU. So XTU, you oh my God, I right. knew that. Oh! So again, with Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, you can overclock without going into your BIOS and without having to do that. It's actually pretty cool. With a couple clicks, you can actually set an overclock really easily. It's like really and, nice to test too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can I know. stress test it on yeah. the iPad. So this is your punishment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got the T right. You gotta turn around. I'm gonna take random screw out. And I'm just gonna drop it in your plate, okay? If I can't find it, I'm just gonna super glue it on. You can't sabotage my... Go easy. To take advantage of the auto assignment of P cores and E cores, Jesus. you must be running what? Windows. <laughs> An application. Final answer. An application. That's your answer. XTU. Intel XTU. It's Windows 11. <laughs> Is really I said Windows. Oh my God. So Windows 10 can't auto assign. Windows 11 is kind of where it takes advantage of the hybrid architecture of assigning the P course to the heavy duty stuff and E course to the background tasks. He said that was easy. Guys, gals, whoever's watching, write, in, write down in the comments. Was that an easy question? His brother told me that one of his worst hated scents in the world. Bro! It's cheese. No. What is wrong with you? That's disgusting. I'm gonna be honest. There's two. <laughs> the next two. Oh my God, it smells really bad. Easy. Easy. Okay. The K in Intel processors, the processor is capable of this. Overclocking. Oh, nice. Take the cheese away. That's the reward for if you get a hard question right. For now, you might want to just stick that under your nose. <laughs> just stick it in you your serious? 
card. Modern high-end graphics cards require this kind of slot. PCI 4.0.16. Final, Final answer? answer? Yes. Nice! Take that away. Okay, you want to take it I'm not going to play around. That's disgusting. Hard. The name given to Intel's 13th gen processors is... Let me uh, savor this moment. Sort of sounds like something that would be in Jurassic Park. Raptor Lake. Nice! Yes! Charles' brother, again, said one of his comfort foods is actually... This isn't quite sushi. In Korean, we call this kimbap, which is sushi-esque. doesn't have fish. So you can have three pieces. The perfect bite has the rice, has the... Protein, nice bulgogi in here. It's, it's like beef, and look with the veggies, and it's 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 delicious. We have so many bags over there. I'm getting, I'm getting curious. Hard. This one is tough. The reward for this one. I want you to hear this, so you're very motivated. Okay. I will take over for five minutes, so you can eat whatever you want. What integrated GPU does your 13600K come with? Huh. That's a good question. Intel Xe. I don't think it's Arc. Intel. XC. Incorrect. The answer is Intel UHD 770. I'm just gonna remove another screw from your PC. He's never gonna find that screw. Let's go hard. Hard. Okay. How many P cores and E cores are in your 13600K? Eight and eight. Eight and eight. Yes. Final answer? Final answer. Incorrect. You get six performance cores and you get eight efficiency cores. The reward for that was that you get a piece of Popeye's chicken. The punishment is I get to eat it in front of you. The guy just made up this freaking punishment so he can I eat. I get it. He's it's hungry. Written, it's written on the sheet. Is that spicy? Mm-hmm. Dang, I haven't had Popeye's in a while. Are you trying to guilt trip me? It's not uh -huh. working. Hey, can you get another one wrong so I can have another piece? You know what Christina said? She's like, have a good, good time. Take your time. You don't have to rush back. Enjoy dinner with Dan. That's what my wife said. A sweetheart. Little does she know. She'll probably find this video hilarious. You know, if you had eaten it though, your hands would be all greasy and then your PC would be all greasy. Shut up, so man. Hard. What is the maximum speed out of the box for the 13600K in gigahertz? 3.6. It's 5.1 gigahertz. Really? Yeah. That sounds really high. It's really high. Oh, that's... I mean, that's amazing. I'm just saying, that's really? Yeah, it's 5.1. Non overclock. The, the i5 yeah. is 5.1? Yeah, 5.1 out of the box. Because past generations, you would overclock to 5. That's like your goal. Okay, let's redo that. <laughs> let's redo that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ask me that question again. <laughs> let's take a little break while I eat this. Let's go. Easy. Okay. What does KF mean in Intel desktop processors? Uh, no integrated graphics. Nice. For that, I'll give you a, a did longer... Say, did I say easy? That was an easy one. I was so excited because I thought that was a hard question. Easy. Easy. Okay. All right, this will be a giveaway. Let's see if he was paying attention. How many cores does your 13600K have? Oh, he forgot. He forgot. <laughs> you get six performance cores and you get eight efficiency cores. Eight plus six. Fourteen. Final answer? Final answer. All right. All right. That was a... That was that a was, throwaway one. That I did was that dangerous. out of order. I wasn't thinking. That was dangerous, Oh, guys. man. Let me give him the smallest of fries. Popeyes? There's way too many of these fries. Oh. Last question. Easy one. How many threads does your 13600K have? 20, 20 threads. Yeah. Final answer? Final answer. Incorrect. It's 20. 8 plus 6, 14. 14 cores, 20, 20 threads. 20 threads? Yeah. Oh, I just doubled it. Yeah, it's no longer the double anymore. That's it for the questions. Thank you, Charles, for playing. Cue the B-roll. <laughs> Charles took his mic off and started eating already. Huge shout out to Intel for sponsoring this video. Until next time, stay honest. Yeah.